Hey guys, it's Diamond and today I am here to do a full wig transformation type gig. So that's what we are doing today. I am wearing my wig from Divas Wigs. It has been such a long time since I have got a wig from Divas Wigs, honestly. Since 2012, I feel like that's the first time I worked with Divas Wigs in 2012. And here we are in 2020 and we are back at it again. So this is the box that my wig came in. This is the bag that the wig comes in. It also comes inside of a plastic bag inside of this. They give you these wig caps, unfortunately. Yeah, not my color. Can't really do anything with those. I really wish they would do the lighter ones just because you can at least make the lighter ones darker. But it's like, I can't really do nothing with that. But yeah, and it also comes with a pamphlet. I will leave the exact link in the description box. It is 150% density, 18 inches, and it is a 4x4 closure wig. So yeah gives you all your information i also got a brush but i used it when i was dyeing the hair so yeah i dyed this hair and everything i will be showing you guys how to get it i did like a reverse ombre kind of thing i think it came out cute it's something different i just didn't want to do boring so yeah i'm gonna show you guys how i did this check the description box if you guys want to purchase this wig is bomb like what can I say it died so great yeah watch the rest of the video like comment and subscribe period okay so mic check one two and two it is voiceover you good back in the building this is the wig when I first started as you can see it is a black wig with a closure I am putting on my gloves my nails are very long but I'm still wearing gloves I used about three scoops of my lightener and then I'm using 40 volume developer mixing it up I don't want it to be too thick I don't want it to be too thin either so using a rat tail comb or like some kind of comb actually works really good for this and then I'm just applying it to the top of the wig so the trick is that you put it on the first section of the hair completely around and then you go back and mix some more lightener to put on the middle section of the hair that's how you get it to blend so i'm gonna go through i'm not really i don't have a technique for this i'm just going around like the top section of the hair i'm basically breaking into thirds and i am getting lightener and just distributing it evenly as evenly as i can throughout the top part of the wig so pretty easy that's how we're doing with that I washed my wig with purple shampoo I got my purple shampoo from Walgreens and this is how it looked then I am going through and doing a second round of bleach so I do the same thing I go through and put the bleach on the first third of the hair I do it all the way around then I go back into the middle section of the hair and repeat it but i use a little more developer than lightener in this part just so that it won't get as light as the top part so yeah that's basically all i do as you can see the top is getting way lighter and the middle is staying more of like a brown color and then the bottom is going to be the blackest or the darkest because there's no lightener there at all so yeah make sure you use your brush turn it sideways and just blend it to the top I use the brush that came with my package as well as a rat tail comb to just comb everything through and just make sure it's distributed and make sure you wear gloves because yeah bleach on your skin does not feel good at all okay so once we have a pretty even coat of the lightener all throughout the hair we are going to just use a little plastic bag, cover that up, and let it sit. Um, just keep an eye on it. I didn't leave it to sit for a certain amount of time. I'm toning my hair with the Wella T18. I get this from Sally's. You mix that in a bowl, and then you put some developer in it. You basically pour all of the liquid into the bowl, and then fill it with developer, and then pour it into the bowl. So one of the t18 and then one of the developer that's basically how you do it 
mix that all up and then I'm going to apply that on the hair this is going to take the brassiness yellow orange whatever you want to call it it's going to remove that from the hair as you can see it has like a purple tint so that's what it's doing it's just the same idea as the purple shampoo this one's going to work a little better I'm applying that and then I'm going to go ahead and comb it through make sure you distribute everything as much as possible um the lighter part on the top I definitely wanted it to be more toned than the middle because I like the brown color that I got but the light bleach bond yellow look I really did not like that so I wanted to tone that really good and yeah you basically just let that sit and do its magic okay so I have on just a wig cap this is a closure wig so I'm not gonna be doing the bald cap method but one of my last hair videos so if you need to see how to do that then I will leave that in the description box you can see how I did my bald cap and all that good stuff so this is the wig now after I have dyed it and stuff toned it and I use purple shampoo and yeah this is the final result it looks a little more yellow goldish on camera but it definitely is a good tone to me so yes this is my reverse ombre wig toss it on and pull this up so i'm going to spray basically right behind these little baby hairs that I parted off. And I didn't put any makeup up on my forehead yet. I was waiting to finish this and then go ahead and put the makeup up there. So just a little tip if you're doing your lace and your makeup at the same time. I'm going to take my handy dandy elastic band and I am going to pop it on. So yeah, um, we will be done very soon. Give this a few minutes, let it set like I said, but look at these eyes, didn't they come out bomb? <laughs> okay so after letting this elastic band sit and letting the got to be glue spray set i'm going to take that off and i'm basically just going to go in and pluck the hairline i haven't plucked this wig at all it is blonde so i don't want to thin it out too much at the top just because it's going to look kind of bald like the skin color and me and the hair it just blends in a little bit so I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to cut the lace off of the front. Like I said, it's just a closer, so there's not that much lace to actually cut off. And then we're going to get into the styling. Okay, so we are taking our wand and we're just going to wand this hair up. I didn't leave them on the wand for that long because I kind of wanted it to be like loose curls. Also, use your wand or your pressing comb and flatten out the top of the wig. As you guys can see before I flattened the top, it was looking like a helmet on my head. But yeah, I'm basically just going to go ahead and curl and pin. And now I'm taking the pins out and just brushing it out. I waited last to do the two like front bang pieces. Not the bang the bang but yeah i waited to do those last because i wanted to like see how it was gonna fit my face overall 
but yeah that's basically it i'm taking a wide tooth comb brushing the curls out giving volume realness and while i'm doing this you could just really see the color like i put my foot in this one i'm not even gonna lie to you look at the color this looks like those wigs that they start from 613 this was a black wig are you kidding me Okay, so this is the finished look. All the links to everything will be down in the description box. I hope you guys enjoy. I tried to switch it up, do some new, and I think it came out cute. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, at DGoods with three O's. The link will be down in the description. Stream my song, WTFGO. The links for that will be down below as well. The video is on my YouTube channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. Also, like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. I will see you next time. Bye.